house. You have execute authority. Bravo 6. Going dark. Start the clear! I'm gonna find it right back. What is going on ladies and gentlemen, it is your boy Mr. Headquarters and thank you for stopping by and if you have lived under a rock you are not watching YouTube today, hey you have been missing out because Twitter has absolutely been going off. Charlie Intel has been uploading something every 15-20 minutes and I did not make a video as soon as it dropped because I wanted to make sure that I got to include a lot of things because as it went on, you know, we got the little one minute trailer and then every time you turn around something else was coming out, something else was coming out, something new was coming out but we got some important information for you guys today and I know you're going to be excited and they officially revealed the next call of duty is going to be modern warfare not modern warfare 4 and not call of duty ghost it's going to be modern warfare and it's going to be based in a modern time of 2019 so it's going to base up pretty much on you know things that's going on in the world today and different parts you know the uk and some maybe in the united states and it's going to have a campaign and a co-op but let's go ahead and jump into some of the information we gathered in today and that is that Call of Duty is finally, after all these years, going to go into crossplay. It looks like Xbox and PlayStation have, you know, turned ties and joined up together and decide, hey, we can make this work because it is actually beneficial for the games that way so they can actually last longer and it's easier to find lobbies. And with that, you're going to have a lot more noobs and a whole lot more, you know, skill-based matchmaking, as they call it, where it's, it's more of a tighter fit than actually a broad where... You know, if you're kind of good or pretty good, but you're not the elite level, that you're just in there with level 1000s all the time and getting smashed. So it should be able to, you know, balance out the lobbies out a lot better. But it says Activision has announced that Call of Duty Modern Warfare will not be, will not have a traditional season pass like previous years as Activision moves to take changes to the franchise overall with the gaming industry changing. So yes, I did say that. That is not going to be a DLC pass battle pass whatever you want to call it season pass they're not going to have that it's going to be free for everybody and the press release announcing the new title infinity ward activision has confirmed that call of duty modern warfare will support cross play as well between playstation 4 xbox one and pc so i'm hoping whenever pc gets in there that it's not going to be jibber jabber you know with you know keyboard and mouse actually controlling the lobbies and you know, pretty much overpowering everybody i'm kind of anxious to see what that is but it says uh every design Decision has been made with our players in mind, said Patrick Kelly, creative director of the Coast Studios head. Infinity War, which launched Modern Warfare, we're keeping steps to unite the community. First, we plan for the Modern Warfare to be played together across PC, console, crossplay support. Second, we're eliminating the traditional season pass so we can deliver more free maps and content as well. Post launch events to all players. That is the beginning. There's much more to come. So I can't wait to see what's going to go on there. So let's break over to see what some more news we got going on because there's a lot more we got to go over, guys. Now up on the next on the list, we're going to have, they came out now. This is going to, they're not going to have specialists, but with these different packs, we're going to have the operator pack. Now what's going to include in that operator pack is some skins and some weapon variants to go along with that. So what you're going to have here is you're going to have, uh, one of them is going to be called a uh, gillied up operator pack and it's going to actually uh, include a ghillie suit and it's going to be a themed operator skin so it's going to be the ghillie suit and the operator name his name is going to be grinch and his cosmetic weapon variant is going to be a bolt action sniper and a camouflage with additional netting and suppressor that what seems to be uh, coordinates scratched from the surface of the weapons above the trigger near to the bolt action so that's going to be pretty cool there. And then also we have another one. It's called the Crew Expendable Operator Pack. It's going to be included in the special edition. Uh, paying a homage to the second campaign mission from the original Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare, which is the original here. Where you are uh, going to play as Sergeant John Soap uh, aboard an uh, Escalon ship in the bearing strength as a part of a Kallenstein raid by a British Specialist Force in an attempt to locate a a Ruger nuclear device okay his uh, operator name is gonna be the otter and this uh, themed operator skin is gonna be a special operation with a gas mask so that's guy you actually see in the trailer and we'll go ahead and drop that trailer as soon as we get over this to let you guys check it out and we'll go over that as well uh, the cosmetic weapon variant is gonna be a short barreled pump shotgun designed for uh, close encounters in fact the phrase of scratched into the stock 
Uh, the weapon also comes with the oil and surface markings. So, I mean, that's kind of cool if you really, you know, I don't know yet which one I'm going to go with. And the last but not least, we got the Warpack Operator Mod uh, set. We're going to be sharing the name of Call of Duty Modern Warfare, the mission where you play as a Marine Sergeant Paul Jackson, leading the charge of pushback and enemy counter attack and secure the tank. Uh, the operator name is going to be Wyatt. Uh, his theme operator skin is going to be the ground infinite desert camouflage uh, with a va uh, attack vest. And his cosmetic weapon variant is going to be a pistol with a lightweight custom trigger flared magnum grip with a custom slipping uh, accessory trail uh, for mounting lasers and flashlights and a war pig attached to the side. I mean, that's okay. I mean, I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I'm going to actually post a picture of the operator packs right now up above the screen. Uh, there's the guy on the left with the tack mask, the ghillie suit, and here's the war pig with his special pistol variant. And uh, with the different uh, versions of the game, I'll put that up here, let you guys check it out. We got the uh, standard edition, which is going to be $59.99. Uh, the operator edition is going to be $79.99. And the operator enhanced edition is going to be $99.99. And actually, um, as well, GameStop is going to have their own exclusives, you know, with a hard copy. And they also have a $200 game, but they have not yet seen what it's going to be. I'm pretty sure it's just going to have a whole lot of, uh, you know, probably nine times out of ten, it's going to come with more uh, COD points or something. I know their signature series with the hard case is actually going to come with some control freaks, which I thought that was kind of neat, but I kind of stepped away from using control freaks. I just use actually extended scuff controller uh thumbsticks so i mean that works pretty good for me but the only difference here is is uh basically you know your standard edition is going to come with the game it's going to come with the uh, tactical knife so everybody's going to get the tactical tonight and also i do not understand this it says a prestige token and black ops 4 i don't know if we're going to be able to use this in modern warfare or not because i mean i'm already master prestige what do i need a prestige token for in black ops 4 and it's a little late right now to be trying to give prestige tokens away uh, with the Operator Edition, you're going to get a Crew Extendable Operator Pack with the War Pig Operator Pack, which is those two, uh, actually those three Operator Packs we are talking about. And the only thing difference between the $99 version is, is you're going to get 3,000 COD points. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I, to me, I think for 3,000 COD points, it's $30. I mean, you're only saving $10 between uh, $80 and $100. So, I mean, it is what it is. If you want to try, I think you're saving those $20 and go ahead and grab that. Go ahead and do so. But I will not pretty sure be buying the operator pack. What I'm hoping is if I do decide to buy the operator pack, which I probably will, is I hope throughout the season they come out with more operator packs that we may be able to jump on and, you know, extend those operator packs, get more skins and everything being attacked to it. And the way I see this game going is being that it's going to be free DLC. I bet you they're going to have some kind of way in the seasons to implement a faster way of leveling up, how they tried to do the 5% tier boost. I bet you they come around this time and see what Treyarch did, and they're going to actually try to do something where you can actually double your reserve crates or double you know, your leveling up. I think that would be absolutely fun and amazing if they would do that, but we'll have to sit back and wait and see. But the official reveal date is October 25th, and your boy will be live. And if you're not already following me, man, go ahead and follow me on Twitter as well. You can easily find me as Mr. Headquarters, and I tend to stream on both platforms all the time. So I will be covering the game when it comes out, and I will be streaming all day when the game comes out. So make sure that you're subscribed to the channel and you're following me for that. You may try to say, that's why I try to say stay to the end, because you may try to say this is clickbait, the thumbnail is clickbait. No, it is not. Listen, guys, right now I'm going to go ahead and do something. If we get to 300 subscribers before the game launches, I will give away a standard edition to one lucky subscriber, okay? If we go ahead and reach 500 subscribers, I will give a operator edition out. Now, that's 500 subscribers. We got to reach that before October 25th. If we reach 1,000 subscribers, I will give away the operator enhanced edition. Now, that's by October 25th. So, guys, if you have not already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and, you know, include on this because the game's not out yet. You could have a chance to win it for free. So, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Turn on that like and leave a comment down below. Let me know that you subscribe to the channel. But I got to get out of here, man. It's time to grind. I hope you all have a fantastic day, man. And enjoy it. Subscribe to the channel. Get in the drawing, man. I'm out. Peace.